So for this cyborg collaboration, I got to work with one of my favorite painters here on YouTube, Elsa Ray. Now, if you've not seen any of Elsa's work before, I highly recommend you go and check out her page. She is insanely talented and she's been painting for less than two years, which is incredible to me. And also her middle name's Ray, which is the same as mine. So yay for that. So to start, I'm taking some foundation and using a Real Technique stippling brush, I am buffing in a lot of product into my face. I wanna get the base as smooth and as perfect as possible, so I really am blending the color out. And because this foundation is slightly too dark for me, I'm just gonna take it over my ears, down my neck, and across my chest to make sure that everything matches in. Still with the same brush, I'm gonna load up some old Paradise white paint that I have. I didn't wanna use my new paint because I don't wanna get loads of foundation mixed in with it. And I'm just gonna buff in a highlight around my face. You wanna go over the tops of your cheekbones, along the bottom of the jaw, down the nose, chin, anywhere that you want to look shiny and highlighted. On the number one low core nail brush, I load up some black diamond effects and I start to section off the face into panels. The vertical lines on the forehead are quite hard to get right, so I used a couple of tiny guide dots to help keep me straight. I carve out another section from under the cheekbones down to the jaw, and then just add in a few more random lines. It doesn't matter where your panels are, it's entirely up to you, really. For a bit more detail, I add a circle on the jaw section. This isn't supposed to be a screw, it's like one of those twisty hatch sort of things so you can get access into the, into the head. You know what I'm talking about? I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, then I just carry on adding panels to the neck and the chest. I start by outlining the shoulders and I also create a straight line joining them up, which was completely out of frame, so sorry about that. To get that solid edge across the hairline, I use a flat number eight brush and add in some straight lines connecting all the panels. And then once I had the shape I was happy with, I completely filled in all the gaps in between my hair to make it look nice and solid. For some reason, I decided it would be a good idea to try and outline my ear and oh my days, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to paint. I've seen so many people do it and I didn't realize how difficult it was to get an outline. For the green circle in the chest, or the life force as I like to call it, I started out with a neon green from Diamond FX. And I then added some shading with a couple of darker greens from Snazaroo. Now I didn't really know how to do this, so what I did was Google shiny green ball and I basically tried to copy the first image that came up. So that's what I recommend you do as well. And then to finish it off, I added a highlight with some white diamond effects. I then painted in another shiny green light force ball in the middle of my forehead and then I used black to connect this down and did the same to the one on the chest and then I rounded out the edges to try and make it look as though it was set into the panel rather than resting on top. I used Snazaroo beige brown and painted directly alongside some of the black lines to try and make it look like a shadow or like the edge of the panel. And then I used Diamond FX White to add in a highlight on the other side. Now, I was getting all kinds of confused with the shading and highlighting. I don't think that some of it's in the right place, if you know what I mean, but you kind of get the idea of what I was going for and it looks okay. And then to finish off, I went in and added a stronger highlight on some of the panels. I wanted to really intensify it and try and get the skin to look almost plasticky, so I just added loads of paint and blended it out with my finger. 